All right, well, praise the Lord Jesus who provided these two beautiful redfish fillets. And the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to prep uh, redfish fillets for long-term freezer storage. And uh, we've just got these Glad freezer bags. And the purpose of adding water isn't so that there's water in there necessarily, but it's to exclude the air. So if the fillet can fold in half, uh, we often fold it in half and go into the bag that way. Sometimes you get fillets that just don't want to fold in half. And in that case, we go ahead and we'll go ahead and cut the fillet in half. Uh, but these are folding nicely. And a lot of times I'll use tap water for this, but uh, we're in a location where I just don't think the tap water is the best right now. So we're going to go ahead and use a little bottle of water in this. There is a redeemer, Jesus, God's own son, precious lamb of God, Messiah, holy one. All right, so then I start the zip lock down most of the way and then you want to get that air out so you kind of push get the air out and then you let as much water drain out as possible and then you end up with most of the air excluded and a nice bag fillet all right now you also, you want to think about your apportioning when you're putting it in the bags, right? So one fillet of this size, I mean, this was like a seven pound redfish. One fillet of this size is about right for my wife and I for dinner. I mean, if you're a hungrier guy, because when you take fish out of the freezer, you're, you're thawing it in increments of how much is in the bag. So some people uh, like to just put as much fish as they can in the bag. And we used to do that, right? These port freezer bags will hold about two, two and a half pounds of fish. Uh, but that's a lot of fish for just uh, a husband and wife. Um, but, you know, when we had our children at home, we'd go ahead and cram as much fish in there as we can. All right, so let me mention that these were slot, uh, this was a slot redfish. On a bull redfish, we often like to trim it up more carefully, uh, trim out a lot of the red, but on, on slot redfish, uh, that still can be very mildly flavored, so we don't worry too much about trimming all that out. Tell me, do you care to obey? Hi, from 2016 to 2022, I've never asked for contributions and none of my platforms are monetized. I'm generally more favorable to giving to widows and orphans than to giving to preachers. The Holy Spirit has spoken to me. Jesus cares about the girls in these homes. I just completed Christian leadership training with Dr. Mark Rutland, 
who founded Global Servants, I've reviewed their financials, and I am impressed both with their accountability and the large proportion of contributions directly supporting their girls in Ghana and Thailand. Please visit their website, globalservants.org, and pray about giving to these girls through them. Tell me, do you care to obey him?